Hello and welcome back to the Celebrities Who Died Today family. Today we gather once more to commemorate the lives of individuals whose legacies will forever remain etched in our hearts. As we navigate through the poignant stories of their passing, we are reminded of the profound impact they've had, not only on our lives but on the world at large. Before we embark on this journey of remembrance, let us take a moment to honor their memory and the lasting imprint they've left behind. Number 1. Ihor Yuknovsky Ihor Yuknovsky was a remarkable individual. Ihor Yuknovsky was born on September 1, 1925, in the village of Nyahinin. Ihor's journey was one of resilience, intellect, and unwavering dedication to his nation. As a young man, Ihor bravely served in World War II, fighting on the side of the Red Army. His experiences during the war shaped his perspective and fueled his passion for science and politics. After the war, he pursued an academic career and became the head of theoretical physics at Lviv University in 1951. Ihor's scientific contributions were groundbreaking. He led the Department of Statistical Theory of Condensed Matter and authored over 400 scientific papers, five books, and a textbook on quantum mechanics. His work established the Lviv Research School of Statistical Physics, a testament to his legacy in the scientific community. But Ihor's impact wasn't confined to academia. He ventured into the political arena with a vision for an independent Ukraine. Elected to parliament in 1990, he became a voice for change and was instrumental in the country's fight for sovereignty. On August 24, 1991, during a pivotal parliamentary debate, it was Ihor who first called for the immediate declaration of Ukraine as an independent democratic state. His political career saw him serve as the first Vice Prime Minister of Ukraine and as a Member of Parliament for four consecutive terms. Ihor was not just a politician, he was a visionary who helped shape the future of Ukraine. Throughout his life, Ihor advocated for the reconciliation of veterans from the Soviet Army and the Ukrainian Insurgent Army, embodying the spirit of unity and forgiveness. His efforts were recognized with numerous awards, including the title of Hero of Ukraine, on March 26, 2024, at the age of 98, Ihor Yuknovsky passed away. His death marked the end of an era, but his legacy lives on. He was a patriot, a scientist, a politician, and above all, a man who dedicated his life to the pursuit of knowledge and the betterment of his country. As we reflect on his life, let us remember Ihor Yuknovsky, not just for his achievements, but for his unwavering belief in a better future for Ukraine. His story is one of inspiration, a reminder that one person's courage and determination can indeed change the course of history. Number 2. Richard Serra Richard Serra was a visionary artist whose monumental works have forever changed the landscape of modern sculpture. Richard Serra was born on November 2, 1938. In San Francisco, Richard Serra was a man whose life was as impactful as the steel he sculpted. His early years were spent in the shipyards, where his father worked, and it was there that the seeds of his future were sown. Serra's journey into the arts began with literature, but it was the allure of visual expression that ultimately captured his heart. After earning a degree in English literature, Serra pursued his passion for art at Yale University, where he honed his skills and vision. His time in Europe, particularly his encounters with the works of Constantin Brancusi, and his friendship with composer Philip Glass played a pivotal role in his transition from painting to sculpture. Serra's sculptures are not just objects, they are experiences. His approach to art was not about creating symbols but about invoking a physical and spatial dialogue with the viewer. His works, often massive, curving walls of Corten steel, demand a presence and engagement that few can ignore. Perhaps one of his most controversial pieces was Tilted Arc installed in New York City's Federal Plaza in 1981. The piece, though eventually removed due to public outcry, cemented Serra's place in the art world. It was a testament to his belief that art is not just to be seen but to be lived. Throughout his career, Serra's sculptures have found homes in landscapes and museums across the globe. His works challenge, inspire, and provoke leaving an indelible mark on all who experience them. On March 26, 2024, the world bid farewell to Richard Serra. He passed away at the age of 85 in Orient, New York. His legacy, however, is as enduring as the materials he worked with. 
Sarah once said, I consider space to be a material. And it is in this space that we find his memory, his influence, and his art, forever a part of the world he so deeply touched. Number 3. George Nicolescu George Nicolescu was a name synonymous with resilience and talent in the face of adversity. George Nicolescu was born on March 12, 1950, in Ploiesti, Romania. George was not just any musician, he was a beacon of hope for many. Despite being visually impaired, George's passion for music knew no bounds. His journey began at the Bucharest School for Amblyopia Patients and continued through middle school and high school, leading him to the School for the Blind in Cluj. It was in 1970 that George's musical talent truly shone through when he won first prize at the Tiner ATP Portata Festival. His success was not a stroke of luck, but the result of his relentless dedication and self-taught mastery of music. George's first hit, Eternitate released in 1973, marked the beginning of a series of successes. He collaborated with composer George Gregoriou, and together, they created melodies that resonated with the hearts of many. After graduating from the University of Bucharest's Faculty of Romance Languages in 1976, George shared his love for languages by teaching French at the School for the Blind in Bazeau. His commitment to education and music ran parallel, as he continued to perform and inspire. The Romanian Revolution of 1989 brought changes to many lives, including George's. He briefly joined the ensemble Optimisti before retiring in 1992. However, retirement couldn't keep him away from music for long. He returned to the charts in 2002 with a hit single, a testament to his enduring legacy. George's life was a melody of triumphs and challenges, each note carrying the weight of his experiences. On March 26, 2024, at the age of 74, George Nicolescu passed away, leaving behind a legacy that will continue to inspire future generations. As we remember George, let's celebrate the music that brought light to his life and the lives of those around him. His story teaches us that no matter the obstacles, our passions can guide us to achieve greatness. Number 4. Sladana Milosevic Sladana Milosevic was a true icon of music and culture. Born on October 3, 1955, in Belgrade, Sladana's passion for music was evident from a very young age. She began her classical music education at the tender age of five, starting with piano and later transitioning to violin. As a teenager, Sladana's musical journey took a rock and roll turn when she became the singer and bass guitarist for a school band. Her talent shone through, and she soon played bass guitar in several bands, including Dezentelmeni, one of the prominent groups of the time. In 1977, Sladana launched her solo career with the single AUO marking the beginning of a new era in her life. Her debut album, Gorim Odelji da Ubijemnok, released in 1979, catapulted her into the heart of the Yugoslav new wave scene, earning her nationwide popularity. Sladana's career was not just limited to Yugoslavia. In 1983, she formed Neutral Design with West German musicians and recorded the album Neutral Design which received good reception in several European countries. Throughout the early and mid-1980s, she was one of the most popular female vocalists and a significant sex symbol in the Yugoslav rock scene. The end of the decade saw Sladana exploring new musical territories, turning towards jazz and experimental music. In 1989, she moved to the United States, further expanding her musical horizons. She returned to Serbia in 1995 and made a comeback with the metal-oriented album Animal Tested in 2000. Despite her success, Sladana faced personal challenges, battling Sjogren's syndrome, a condition that ultimately contributed to her passing. On March 26, 2024, at the age of 68, Sladana Milosevic passed away, leaving behind a legacy of groundbreaking music and cultural impact. Sladana's influence extended beyond music. She was a record producer, author, and a symbol of breaking barriers with her performances, appearance, and the themes she tackled in her lyrics. Her brother, Goran Milosevic, known as the vocalist for the hard rock band Generasija 5, also shares a part of the musical legacy. Today, we remember Sladana Milosevic, not just for the music she created but for the path she paved for future generations. Her life story is a testament to the power of art to transcend boundaries and to the enduring spirit of creativity. Number 5. Rajman Miller 
Rajman Miller was a remarkable individual, born on July 16, 1954, in Kielcice, Poland, Rajman's journey was one of dedication, service and compassion. Rajman's early years were spent in the historic city of Kiels, where he developed a deep-rooted passion for helping others. This calling led him to pursue a career in medicine, a field where he could make a tangible difference in people's lives. After years of rigorous study, he graduated from the Medical University of Lodz, emerging as a skilled doctor ready to take on the world's medical challenges. But Rajman's aspirations went beyond the confines of the hospital. He saw the need for change and improvement in healthcare systems and believed that he could be the force to drive that change. With this vision, he ventured into the realm of politics, joining the Civic Platform Party. In 2011, Rajman took a significant step in his political career by becoming a member of the SAGEM, the lower house of the Polish parliament. His expertise in healthcare proved invaluable as he served on various committees, eventually becoming the deputy chairman of the Parliamentary Health Committee. His contributions to the field were not just limited to his constituency, but were felt across the nation. Throughout his political tenure, Rajman remained a doctor at heart. He advocated for policies that would ensure better healthcare for all, especially the underprivileged. His voice became synonymous with progress and empathy, resonating with the hopes of the common people. Sadly, on March 26, 2024, at the age of 69, Rajman Miller passed away after a valiant battle with cancer. His demise was felt deeply by many, leaving a void in the hearts of those who knew him and in the institutions he served. He died in Katowice, a city that had become his home, surrounded by the love and respect of his peers and nation. As we reflect on Rajman Miller's life, we are reminded of the impact one individual can have on the world. His legacy is a testament to the power of perseverance, the importance of healthcare, and the role of dedicated public service. Rajman may have left us, but his vision and work continue to inspire and guide us. Rajman Miller's story is one of triumph, of a life well lived, and of a man who gave his all for the betterment of society. As we bid farewell to this extraordinary human being, we carry forward his mission, his dreams, and his unwavering spirit. Number 6. Bridget Kelly Bridget Kelly was a remarkable individual whose life and career have left an indelible mark on the community she served. Bridget Kelly was born on April 21, 1983, in Norwood, Ohio. Bridget's early life was shaped by the values of hard work and community service. She grew up in a union household, which instilled in her a strong sense of justice and the importance of collective action. Bridget's academic journey took her to Xavier University, where she earned her bachelor's degree, and later to the University of Cincinnati for her master's. Her education laid the foundation for her future in public service. In 2016, Bridget took a bold step into the political arena, running for the Ohio House of Representatives 31st District. Her campaign was driven by a passion for representing the underrepresented and a commitment to bringing about positive change. She won the election with a resounding 68% of the vote, a testament to the trust and support she garnered from her constituents. During her tenure, Bridget was a fierce advocate for workers' rights, healthcare, and education. She worked tirelessly to ensure that the voices of her district were heard loud and clear in the halls of power. In 2022, Bridget's dedication to her community took a new turn as she was elected Hamilton County Auditor. However, her time in this role was cut short by a battle with esophageal cancer, a struggle she faced with the same courage and dignity that characterized her public service. It is with a heavy heart that we share the news of Bridget Kelly's passing on March 26, 2024, at the age of 40. Her legacy, however, continues to inspire us all. Bridget's life was a testament to the impact one person can have when they dedicate themselves to serving others. As we remember Bridget, let us honor her memory by striving to make a difference in our own communities, just as she did in hers. Thank you for joining us in celebrating the life of Bridget Kelly, a true public servant. Bridget Kelly's story is one of resilience, dedication, and unwavering commitment to the common good. Her journey reminds us that we all have the power to affect change, no matter the obstacles we may face. Though she has left us, her spirit of service lives on. 
Let us carry forward the torch of compassion and activism that Bridget Kelly carried so gracefully throughout her life. Number 7. K. Benbow K. Benbow was a remarkable figure in children's television. K. Benbow was born in November 1961 in Sheffield. She pursued her passion for knowledge by studying theology at St. Hugh's College, Oxford and graduated in 1980. Her journey with the BBC began in 1984, marking the start of a career that would leave an indelible mark on children's programming. In 1988, Kay took her first steps into the world of BBC Children's, a division dedicated to crafting content for young minds. Her dedication and talent soon led her to CBeez, the BBC's channel for preschoolers, which launched in February 2002. Kay's influence grew, and in May 2010, she became the second controller of CBeez. Under her leadership, CBeez flourished, winning the BAFTA Children's Award for Channel of the Year four times. Kay's vision was clear to provide the very best for the youngest viewers. She believed in inspiring and making a positive impact on their lives, helping to create happy, confident children. In 2014, Kay stepped up as acting director of BBC Children's following the resignation of Joe Godwin. Her tenure was a testament to her exceptional leadership and commitment to excellence in children's media. Kay's contributions extended beyond the screen. In January 2017, she was awarded an honorary degree from the University of Sheffield, recognizing her achievements and her research informed understanding of young children's engagement with television. Tragically, Kay Benbow passed away in March 2024. At the age of 63, she left behind a legacy that will continue to resonate in the halls of children's television and in the hearts of those who grew up with CBs. As we bid farewell to Kay, we remember her not just for the programs she helped create but for the joy and learning she brought into our homes. Her work will forever be a part of the fabric of childhood for many, and her memory will live on as a beacon of creativity and care. Number 8. Laurent Achard Laurent Achard was a visionary in the world of cinema, whose journey was as compelling as the stories he brought to the screen. Laurent Achard was born on April 17, 1964, in the Yonne department of France, Laurent's early life was not without its challenges, but it was these very trials that shaped his unique perspective on the world, a perspective that would later define his cinematic voice. Laurent's passion for film was ignited when a school lent him a copy of Cahiers du Cinema. This moment was a turning point, setting him on a path towards storytelling. Despite failing the entrance exam for La Femmes, Laurent's determination didn't waver. He moved to Paris, and was introduced to film producer Maurice Tinchent, which marked the beginning of his professional journey. His directorial debut came with the short film Quen Savant Les Morts in 1991. Laurent's work was deeply influenced by the likes of Maurice Pilat and Jean Renoir, and his films often explored the edges of society and the human experience. In 1999, Laurent directed his first feature film, Plus Choir, Moines Que Domaine, which garnered critical acclaim but it was Lee Dernier des Fus in 2006 that earned him the prestigious Prix Jean Vigo, cementing his status as a significant figure in French cinema. Laurent's filmography is a testament to his versatility and his commitment to his craft. From last screening selected for the Festival International de Cine de Locarno, to his documentaries like UN Parfois Duane's work resonated with audiences and critics alike. Sadly, Laurent Achard passed away on March 25, 2024, at the age of 59. His death is a profound loss to the cinematic world, but his legacy lives on through his films each one a window into the soul of a man who believed in the power of cinema to change the world. As we reflect on Laurent's life, we are reminded of the impact one person can have on an art form. His films continue to inspire and challenge us, and his story encourages us to pursue our passions with relentless determination. Number 9. Barry Silver Barry Silver was a remarkable individual whose life was a testament to advocacy, justice, and community service. Barry Silver was born on November 18, 1956, in Mount Vernon, New York. Barry was a man of many talents and an unwavering spirit. He pursued his education with dedication, graduating with honors from Florida Atlantic University and later earning his Juris Doctor from Nova University. Barry's career was as diverse as it was impactful. He was admitted to the Florida Bar in 1983, 
marking the beginning of a legal journey that would see him champion the rights of many. His passion for justice was paralleled by his commitment to public service. In 1996, he was elected to the Florida House of Representatives, where he served with distinction. But Barry's work went beyond the halls of legislation. He was a spiritual leader, serving Congregation L. R. Fiedor from 1996. His devotion to interfaith harmony and social action was unwavering. He was a voice for the voiceless, a defender of rights, and a beacon of hope for many. Tragically, on March 21, 2024, Barry Silva passed away after a valiant battle with colon cancer. He was 67 years old. His passing left a void in the hearts of those who knew him and in the communities he served. Barry's legacy is not just in the laws he helped pass or the cases he won, it's in the lives he touched, the people he inspired, and the change he brought about. He showed us that one person's conviction can indeed make a difference. As we remember Barry, let us honor his memory by continuing his fight for a better world. As we draw this segment to a close, we extend our deepest sympathies to the families, friends, and admirers of those we've celebrated today. Their presence in our lives has been nothing short of transformative, and though they may no longer be with us, their spirits continue to inspire and uplift. Join us again as we pay homage to those who've shaped our world in immeasurable ways. Thank you for being a part of this moment of reflection. Until we meet again, may their memories be a beacon of light in our hearts.